Welcome back. So I had arrested this drunkle punch and food safety laws tell us that, you know, cut fruit only lasts up to four days and on the fourth day it should be used and or discarded if not completely used. And that's mainly to protect the customers and stuff like that. And so this has been a little in here a little longer than four days. It has some alcohol content so it'll keep it from completely going bad in there. But I do need to remove it and I'm not going to drink all of this, but I have family and coming in town. So I went ahead and bought some of these little drink pouches. So we're going to fill these up, transfer them and get ready for the fam. First, we want to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that sloshed around in there real good. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the easiest way to do this. Might have to come around on your side. That's the first one. And just like that, we have our party punch. All right, now we're gonna make a large batch of my new martini, the Appleton, the Apple Washington. I don't know what to call it, but it, we're gonna make, make it. I'm gonna utilize the rest of this bottle of Crown Apple to make this. Now it's very, it's very easy to large batch your cocktails. You essentially just multiply the recipe. Once you know how much of one thing you have, you know how to duplicate that across the rest of them. Call that eight. So that's the equivalent of eight of these cocktails. So now I know what to do with the rest of the cocktail. By the way, I use my bar guide two ounce shot glass to measure my two ounces out. It's just that much easier. So I also know that about one and a half to two ounces of lime juice is gonna come from each lime. So with that, I need eight ounces of lime juice. Smartest way to do it is to measure it out. That way you can make sure you're very accurate. So now we have about eight ounces of lime juice in here. We need eight ounces of orange liqueur. That also means we need 16 ounces of cranberry juice. Now you wanna stir this really, really well because usually you will be shaking this. So remember, everything needs to incorporate and you gotta just be patient with it. Don't try to rush. For second thought, I am gonna add a little bit of ice to help dilute it. It's very liquor forward, which is okay because it's a martini, but I do need it to dilute just a little bit. When you're diluting, you don't wanna go in with too much ice up front because you can always put more in. Once it's too diluted, then it's just watered down and it doesn't taste good. So we got us a winner. Now we're gonna throw this into our drink pouches. Now, if you didn't have drink pouches, you could make this same batch cocktail. You could take it, put it in the refrigerator, and then give everybody a cup of ice and they could just come by and pour their own. Or you could utilize you the gallon and a half tanner that I have at the link in my bio. And this would be perfect. You sit in the refrigerator, they could come by, just pull the spigot open, and then they could pour themselves a drink. You also have to be very careful and think about how drunk you want your people to be at your function. This holds a lot of fluid. If I fill this all the way up, everybody's gonna have one drink and be done. And that's okay, but we want everybody to have fun and not just be, looks like the measurements were just right. Looks like I'm gonna get eight of these out of here. All right, let's get these in the freezer and get ready for everybody to show up. Cheers. 